Welcome to 1407 Gray Malkin Lane. This is the living memory of the X-Men with a comic review. We're doing Sword. Sword is the breakout this year for me. I'm really digging this book. The, the cover basically tells you everything you need to know about what's going to happen in it. I am not the biggest manifold guy. He can't. He's a mutant. I think he's a his powers are really cool. A friend of mine had to explain how his powers work, but now we're being told that he's not even a teleporter. He just tells the universe something and it, and it does it. Uh, Manifold is very interesting. Just, he's an Australian mutant who's an Avenger, who ha who's more who's more connected to Black Panther than he is to Iron Man. We see him pop up in Australia to meet up with some of his people. And we get, hey, we love the X-Men. It's just those Avengers people, we don't like it. Tell Iron Man I'm, I'm gonna mess him up when I see him. <laughs> that was really nice. And I, this, is, this was basically a character issue telling you everything about Manifold and why he's so important to the Marvel Universe. I really dug it. He he starts jumping in the places. He meets up with a couple of, with a would-be conqueror, trying to get them to help with what's going on on Earth with the King in Black, the symbionts, and the symbiont Venoms who are taking over everything. And he and this guy's like, no, this guy helped me out. Why would I go against him? So later, like, you know, Manifold leaves. He goes to the Alpha Flight Station. Here's the thing. I didn't know... I didn't know the uh, the Alpha. Fl I didn't know the Marvel base program was so advanced. Gyrick, he is like he just doesn't go away. You know the way that some villains just keep popping up, and you're just like, why hasn't anyone killed you? That's Henry Peter Gyrick. He and apparently he. He's talking to somebody about Krakoa, about what's going on with uh, their space station, how mutants are actually getting ahead of it, or surpassing them. He apparently, but with him, it's not just mutants. Pretty soon, he's gonna go after anybody who has powers. He wants it. He wants a place where everybody is equal. Yeah, boring. It, but we do find out that uh, Gyrick has a mole on on the peak. And I think I know who it is, but I'm not entirely sure yet. We get a little bit of brand. We get a little bit of brand, but we find out he walks into uh, this. It's pretty bad. I really like this book. When you go into your comic book store and you get your books, you always have an idea of which ones you really want to read, so you leave those the last. With me this week, it was hard. It was hard not to read this first. I had to read X-Force first, then Excalibur. I had to whet my appetite. But I'm so glad that I waited because this is it. This hit so hard. I'm giving this. Oh, Manifold is a Manifold is awesome. I want to see more of him. I'm giving this a four and a half stars out of five. Love it. This it, this along with uh Hellions are probably two of the books I'm, I'm really excited for every month, aside from X-Men and Hellion. No, X-Force. 
eh, maybe we'll. I'm excited about all the books. That's all we got. This is 1407. See you soon.